Welcome everybody. So, interoperability, what is that? As some nerds might call it, they might call it interop. Interoperability is probably some of the trickiest type of programming you can do. And not just for technical reasons, more about logistics. So let me tell you what this is all about. So interoperability is having one computer system communicate with another computer system. So maybe you have a SaaS, a software as a service, and you're selling it to an enterprise client, to a client that uses their own custom software to manage all their employees, as an example. So they have a particular way of managing their employees and all their data, and you have your system that manages its own, its own data in its own way. So sometimes, oftentimes, when you want to deal with larger organizations, they want to automate, they want to automate the connection between their system and your system. Interop. And interop is tricky because they're going to do things their, their way, you're going to do things your way. But there are some... Uh, options. One of the options is that there are standards out there. For example, there's something called SAML, S-A-M-L, and there's several others out there. Basically, these are protocols, these are methods, these are an agreed upon way to communicate between system A and system B. Problem is, there are many standards out there, and there's variants of standards and there could be different ways of implementing it. The coding part is not necessarily super complex, but it is the uh, satisfying the various standards of communication between the systems that can be complex. Communicating between one organization and another about, hey, we need to do this. Uh, can you do this? Does this work for you? No, 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 we need to do it this way, and we need to do it that way. So this back and forth between two companies, two organizations, trying to figure out how to get things to work, it's just, it's, you know, whatever. I've done it several times. It's not like uh, you're not uh, solving the secrets of the universe with this stuff, but it's just a pain in the butt. I, again, big part of it is because of bureaucracy and um, you know people's uh, companies' uh, investment in certain systems. So you just have to deal with that. So why do I bring it up? I'm just dealing with that again. The Studio Web works with many schools, and certain districts will have uh, systems, and they want to be able to plug into your system in the way I just described, and. What it is, it is what it is. You need custom, uh, you get a lot of custom code in those situations, even if you're uh, implementing uh, a standard that's commonly used. That's just the nature of the game. That's where you see uh, a simplified code base, a simplified structure uh, comes in handy. That's really uh, one of the main reasons why simple code is the best code, because simple code can be, can be adapted to circumstances much more easily than very complex uh, software or poorly written software. That's really the, the, the issue these days. Also performance, if you have simplified code, you can uh, refine your performance uh, much more easily. That being said, that's much less of an issue than it was 25 years ago, simply because computers are so fast these days. So, you know, performance is becoming less less of an issue. Let me say less of an issue. I'm not saying performance doesn't matter. Of course it matters. But I'm just saying that things are so fast. The hardware is so fast. The internet is so fast that the optimizations relative to vis-a-vis -vis performance is not, for most applications, not really an issue. Brings up another point. Somebody was talking in a... Somebody sent me an email and they're talking about building a system and they're worried about performance and scaling and so forth. I said, listen, don't worry about it. Most of us will not be developing the next Facebook or the next Instagram or Twitter or something, something that requires a huge amount of uh, throughput. It's, uh, and every year as hardware becomes faster and faster, as internet connections become faster and faster, uh, that issue is becoming less and less of an issue. Now, the main reason 
for simplified code is to be able to uh, more easily maintain it and interop. And uh, there you go. This is a bit of a nerdy cons topic, I suppose, um, but I just thought I'd bring it up given what, given what I am dealing with now uh, with Studio Web. A little interoperability, fun times. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Bye-bye. Thank you.